Hello, I'm Matt from Practical BI, and today we're looking at variables, DAX variables in Power BI. So to demonstrate what a variable is and how we use them, um, I've got some sales data here. So we're looking at sales by month, um, and I've also got a measure that's showing me the, the same month in the previous year sales, and then that percentage change year on year. So uh, if I look at May here, I've got my previous year sales as 15,138. I can see that in May 2019, I had 15,138. Uh, so to, to do that, I'm using the parallel period function. Um, you can have a look at my other videos if you want to see how to use this, this function. Um, and for my year on year measure, I'm saying give me the sum of sales and let's just show you what that sum of sales measure looks like it's just a sum of my sales column so I'm saying sum of sales take away the sum of sales for that uh, same month in the previous year divided by that same month in the previous year and that gives me the year-on-year -year difference for each month but this is a bit um, a quite a lot of typing in here we've got um, more words than we need um, we're completely repeating this calculate statement uh, in exactly the same way twice so let's just have a look at how we could tidy this up um, with the use of some variables so I'll do it in a, in a new measure so um, let's start by uh, copying everything here I'll create a new measure and I'll just paste everything in there and we'll call this uh, sales year on year and let's just put variable in brackets so that we know this is our version with variables Okay, now I'm going to start off just um, by by making this a bit tidier. So I'm going to press Alt and Return a couple of times just to give me some space there to work with. Now, uh, the first step of using variables is to declare the variable. Um, so we do that first of all with the, the keyword var, V-A-R. Um, and then the next step is to, to name our variable. So I'm going to call this um, previous uh, year sales and naming convention around variables is um, is, is something that, that differs um, across the community uh, and it's really up to you about how you name them but it is good to use a naming convention so that you can tell and so that anyone else who's debugging your code can tell um, where, when a variable is used um, in an easy way so uh, I'm going to call this previous year sales and I'm going to use my calculate statement here um, and I'm going to then use the so I'm pressing alt and enter and I'm going to then use the word return which is going to um, allow us to return something once that variable has been calculated so just to confirm what's going on here we're saying uh, I'm declaring a variable so I'm saying um, open up this variable called previous year sales and into it I want you to put uh, the the sum of sales for the, the previous month or sorry the same month in the previous year um, and once you've calculated that, then we can use it within our um, within our st return statement here. So I'm just going to alter this. So instead of using the existing calculate statement, I'm here now just going to type previous. And you can see as I start to type there, my I've got this x y symbol at the bottom with my variable. So I can just reference that variable and paste that there as well. So you can see um, a much cleaner uh, function here, a much cleaner formula here. Um, I've got sum of sales minus previous year sales divided by previous year sales. Now let's just commit that. And now we can bring that into our table to compare to our existing column. We'll just format that as a percentage so it's easy to compare. Remove the decimal places. And you can see there that I've got the same result um, but much cleaner code. So let's look at the previous one. I've got the, the statement repeated twice. Um, here we just got we're calculating that once, much more efficient and um, and using it twice. Okay, so that's uh, that's variables and that's how we use them. We could declare as many variables as we like within a within a DAX um, measure or, or column here, and we can uh, we can reference those variables either in um, future variables as we declare them or in our return statement underneath here. So. That's how we do variables, but why would you want to do variables? Well, there are four main reasons. Um, the first is that it improves performance, as we've uh, as we've looked at there. The second is that it um, makes your code much more readable. I think, uh, as as again we've seen here, um, much easier to interpret this, um, and uh, thirdly, much easier to debug this as well. Um, we can see um, 
where things are declared we if we have to make a correction to this calculate statement or if we have to make a change to this calculate statement we only have to make that change in one place rather than every time that um, that that we see it uh, in 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 our DAX formula here and thirdly it reduces complexity so um, there there is some uh, legacy functionality using the um, the earlier and earliest functions in DAX from prior to, to variables being around um, and the use of variables um, is, a, is a much easier concept to understand and to get your head around um, than those previous um, functions were. Um, and there's one further consideration with variables and um, we do have to be careful here um, and I just want to demonstrate how, how, how they work in a bit more detail and just um, provide that warning for you um, so you don't fall into the, the, the trap that you can do with variables. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna create a copy here of, of the variable that I've created already, of the, sorry, of the measure that I've created already. And I'm going to paste that in here and we're gonna call, I'm just gonna call this um, incorrect. Okay, and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you, show you a, a potential alternative. Um, let's just call this um, previous year sales um, for simplicity. Previous sales, incorrect. Okay, now, so this time I just want to calculate my, my previous year sales. And you might think that you could do that just by um, having um, sum of sales here. I might want to declare, I'll just call this my sales. I might want to declare that here and then use this cal a calculate statement like this to reference sales and then uh, my parallel period function um, as before using my uh, previous 12 month parameters okay and you might think that that would th that would calculate my uh, sum of sales for the, the previous the, the same period in the previous year um, but let's actually have a look at what what goes on there when we add that into our to our table at the bottom um, oh, I'm just gonna have to rename my um, my variable here actually let's just put a V in front of that just for simplicity um, Okay, and let's just add that additional column into our table here. I'm gonna add it next to my existing previous year sales column to compare. And let's just format that as well. Okay, and you can see actually what this is giving me, instead of giving me the 15614 that it should be, is I'm getting 15138, which is just the same as the sales um, for, for that current month, as opposed to the sales in the previous year. So let's just have a look at what's going on here. So variables are calculated before the return statement. So here, what I'm actually doing is I'm calculating the sum of sales and storing that in my V sales variable. So when I come to calculate that, uh, I'm, not, I'm not applying a measure here, I'm simply returning a value. So that means that the, that the parallel period uh, um, function here isn't having any impact on, on the sales that's that's being calculated and so I'm just returning the sales for the same month so you have to be careful um, that, that it, so if I was to correct that I, I'd, I'd want to put either put my calculate statement around everything um, in this way and and um, and that would that would work fine so I can um, I can commit that when we look back now you can see that I've got my previous year sales here uh, and so on or I would want to do the entire calculation within the variable um, like so. So I've got my calculate statement and everything being calculated within the variable and I'm simply returning the variable. So there's not much benefit to doing that here, um, just to demonstrate that that also works. You can see, we can see that that also returns the same result. So that's variables in DAX. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please do like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, please add them to the comments underneath this video. And I look forward to speaking to you again.